What's up guys? Welcome back to another Matthew Perry 2 video. We're going to be talking about the stock market in this video. Um, I want to talk about NVIDIA, right? I finally decided to purchase NVIDIA and I've been wanting to purchase this play for a while. I've been wanting to be a part of this uh, company for a while and um, I want to tell you what my plan is with this play and uh, just overall have a conversation about what it is and, and exactly why I'm deciding to make that move in now versus way back when. So guys, if you could make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. If you guys want to get started in the stock market, I have links for Webull and Robinhood down below where you guys can get started. I also have a link for Margex, which is a cryptocurrency trading platform. Uh, if you guys are interested in trading cryptocurrency actively, day trading it's a fantastic platform but um i wanted to go into nvidia for a reason right i think i want to start with uh my overall uh total account value because i plan on increasing that account value i have no idea why it says that i'm down so much on certain plays i don't know what's going on with weeble but it, it's it's all weird there are, a, there's one play or maybe even two that I'm down significantly on, one that I'm currently holding, another one that I have sold, um, you know, maybe months ago, maybe like five, six, maybe even a year ago. I don't know. I haven't really paid too much attention to the stock market besides ETFs and the overall market rather than individual positions. But the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to get into individual positions again. I want to start diving into things like Apple and Tesla and, and, and um, you know, NVIDIA and AMC and, and Coinbase, all of those. And I'm going to consistently let you guys know exactly what I'm going to buy, what I'm holding, what I'm actively trading, um, and um, what I'm averaging into. So let's go ahead and jump into my account. As you're going to see here, here's my account, right? Now, this is a little weird because it shows that my PL is down by $34,000. That's not true. It's it's true, but it's not true, right? So AMC, um, I ended up making a lot of money on it. And you're going to see that it's kind of weird where it says like my p and I made $6,000 on it, but it says I'm down $26,000. That's not true. Um, I should be uh, slightly up on that play at the moment based on how much I reinvested into um, this business. But I'm an AMC, like I believe in AMC in a large way, right? I'm more towards uh, believing in it for the long term. I said I was going to hold AMC for forever, basically. Um, I did miss an opportunity by seeing my value of $100,000 worth of AMC uh, from my 16000 that I've invested. And obviously taking my initial investment and leaving the rest in there and being worth $100,000 is phenomenal. Um, but the overall mindset was that it was going to go a lot further with you know, manipulation and, and, you know, hedge funds getting what's coming to them. Now we still have that in the back of our minds. I still hold AMC cause I'm a believer in movie theaters. Now, um, I, after all that kind of came downhill and I wanted to kind of focus on the crypto market more, uh, I started going more long-term and you can see that with my Robinhood portfolio and how much that has grown, uh, with my fidelity portfolio and how much that has grown with my long-term investments. And I kind of gotten away from short-term investments. So, um, you know, I, I want to start to get back into short-term as well as long-term individual stocks that I can buy. And I'm going to consistently give you guys updates on what I hold, um, and what I'm deciding to buy. Now, um, I just decided to buy NVIDIA. Now, as you're going to see here, I have 10 shares of NVIDIA at $1,357 uh, right now, meaning that I believe they had a 10 to 1 split. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure they had a 10 to 1 split. Um, let me just make sure NVIDIA uh, stock split. And uh, yeah, they had a 10 to 1 split which brought them basically as you look at this if you um reverse that you're looking at a $1359 price point at this level right that's obviously very high in where they are but i decided to buy it and kind of get my feet wet in the position i could have bought $5000 worth today but i decided not to do that um i wanted to buy a little bit of coinbase and um uh put a little bit somewhere else 
uh, but I wanted to kind of get my feet wet or, you know, dip my toes in the water for NVIDIA because I felt as though I wasn't doing that. And even though we are definitely at a way higher price point and we still have a, a lot of room to grow from here, I, that's what I see is that room to grow. And when we do see maybe a little bit more retracement, a little bit more movement, or I get a little bit of money, a little bit of funding, I can just start to, you know, progressively throw some money in there, right? It could be every week, it could be every month. I don't know, right? Maybe I'll buy $60 every day of NVIDIA and uh, go on about my day. I don't know, right? We'll, we'll have to establish that and see what it ends up turning into in the end, because obviously NVIDIA is very popular. Um, but I'm currently up $38.19 off of that investment, which is great, but it doesn't matter. I'm not looking for the short term. I'm looking for more of the long term, and I'm going to consistently hold that play. Now, let's go into NVIDIA and see what it's all about. I'm going to change this grid to only show one grid. Um, so what we've seen over you know this time frame, and what we're looking at is, um, I believe, 30-minute time frame. We're looking back to... Um, uh, May, uh, yeah, here we go, May um, 30th, and we can see how that has grown, obviously, with the stock split, it was a different price, I wish it would show that, but, um, you know, seeing it grow up to 125 which would have been 1000 I guess, $250, seeing it uh, decrease down here and touch the 200 EMA, I wanted to wait for a touch point, and that's kind of what I was looking for here, was waiting for that touch point of the 200 EMA, and we didn't see that yet. Now, I do believe that we will still see that, but there's always a chance that we could see that around the 130 mark anyways. And then I end up doubling down at kind of the same price and where I bought. So um, that's the risk you pay. That's the price you pay. I honestly have been holding off because I was like, oh, you know, everybody I talked to, they were like, it's too high of a price. I'm not buying it. You shouldn't buy it. You should wait until it retraces. And now you have, you know, the stock split and um, you see more positivity that's going on with this. Now, if we look at the hour uh, candlestick, again, this goes back to the beginning of, of May. We're seeing it at a $92 price point and how far that has risen up, how much that is worth. I want to scroll down here just to show you everything that's worth. Current market cap is worth $3.34 trillion. So it's definitely at a high uh, valuation here and uh, how much it is worth. The volume you're seeing 217 million shares um, worth. If you look at the 52 week high, you're seeing $136.33 where we currently stand. I really want to see that retracement and we know that it's playing um, back and forth and trying to touch the 200 EMA. If we actually look at the one hour candlesticks, it's not showing that it's, it has even attempted to touch to the 200 EMA in quite some time. But if you're looking at it over just one month, you could see the multiple touch points. So let's look at it um, over not only the one hour candlesticks, let's look at the day candlesticks. And um, I always like to utilize the 200 EMA as that kind of back to earth um, sense. And you can see here the 50 moving average, We've seen a couple of touch points there. I'm looking for that to kind of pull back to that point. However, it's not giving me any um, information that that is going to happen. Like if we even bring up indicators uh, or different indicators here, I want to find a different indicator that I can bring up. Um, don't know why I can't bring it. Oh, there we go. You know, we'll bring up this indicator and we'll also bring up the... Uh, I want to bring up the RSI, RSI, RSI. Is it in alphabetical order? There we go. I want to bring up the RSI, and you can see that things are, you know, overbought at this moment, right? They're definitely overbought, but it's not showing any signs of slowing down, even though it has been overbought. We've seen it overbought multiple times, and even in the time when it was at some of the highest points, when you did see a retracement, you really didn't see like true, like the only time was this point where it looked overbought here, kind of reset itself. And yes, while it is still broken overbought territory, um, you know, you aren't really seeing that aggressive level to where it's, it deserves that kind of pullback. So maybe we're looking for it to level out a little bit because how far it is up here, um, we might see double touch points, you know, 
Uh, so anyways, I'm, I was looking to get my feet wet into NVIDIA. That's why I decided to buy into this play. Uh, my overall goal is to average into it. I don't care what price it's at. I'm going to average into it over time and uh, just be a part of it and, and see what this could be worth in the end. Um, if they end up paying a dividend in the, in the end, um, they end up doing multiple splits, kind of like what you saw with, you know, Tesla, because you look at, you look at Tesla, let me go ahead and uh, bring up uh, Tesla. I spelled that wrong. Tesla, that's not it either. We go ahead and look at Tesla, and we can see like they're worth um, $590 billion. Like that's not that's not even at the level of where Nvidia is and how far that has grown, but you've seen the the level of impact and how much this has had, how many splits has had, how many um, different levels of interest and people making money over time um, with it with uh, Tesla. And I just want to be a part of one of those companies that uh, consistently sees so much growth and attention and popularity that it just has multiple and multiple splits and multiple. Um, you know, just uh, bullish momentum moments, if that makes sense. Uh, so let me know what you think about um, my play. Let me know what you think about me investing into Nvidia finally, um, and if it was a good if it was a good idea, right? And no matter what you guys say, you can say it's a good idea. I have my own investment strategy for a reason, and I'm going to consistently invest into there, whether it's a lot or it's not. Uh, I'm going to consistently invest into there. I actually want to buy uh, Coinbase every day uh for a year and see how that ends up playing out because we know crypto is going to take off and you know i'm a big fan of crypto but we'll talk about that in a different video guys if you could make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell for more of these videos and check out any of the links in the description i'm gonna get out of here and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya